If you're finding this video, you probably already subscribed to my channel. But in the case that you you haven't seen a video from me before, uh, my name's Dan. I go by Dan and a Man on on YouTube. And uh, today I'm going to show you some items that I sold recently on on eBay, and uh, and tell you how long they took to sell. It's not that I'm telling you to sell them or not to sell them or that I shouldn't sell. I, I mean, I'll probably tell you if I would sell them again. Who knows what I'm going to say when I'm going to tell you what I what I bought? But I'm going to tell you what I bought, what I sold. Well, not what I bought. I'm gonna tell you what I sold and how long it took me to sell. Uh, so if that interests you, stick around. Uh, anyway, I think that's it. Let's just get started. It's not gonna be all like uh, a bunch of great stuff. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's definitely not all good stuff, but it's it's some stuff that I picked uh, recently that I've sold. Not not everything I've sold this week. If, if it was, I'd be super excited. But uh, it's just some stuff I had saved up on my phone that I wanted to talk to you about, but I haven't talked to you about it in a while. So first up is this Franklin Language Master talking the Thoris dictionary uh I, I found this this is like some old electronic stuff i found it at the bins i actually found two that day most items i have from the bins my buy cost is less than two dollars this sold for 39 dollars 99 cents plus the buyer paid shipping it took a year and a half to sell it's small it i don't know who's looking for this if i found them at the bins again i would probably buy it because it's a good flip i i mean i feel like that's a good flip but you know whatever i'm listen i just you decide. I'm not telling you. I have a hard time of deciding what I'm supposed to make videos about. I'm not telling you to buy this. I'm not telling you I shouldn't have bought it. I, I, I mean, if I bought it, I, I wouldn't have bought it at the thrift store for five. But well, we're wasting time. Only twenty percent. Anyway, I'm happy. Uh, next up is this pair of Duluth trading, uh, trading company cargo shorts. I found these at Goodwill. I paid five dollars and seventy three cents for them, and they sold on an offer for twenty two dollars forty nine cents plus buyer paid shipping, and they sold in five days. So uh, I'm happy with that. I found a lot of four sealed Breaking Bad seasons. My average buy cost was $5.73 for these, and they sold for $24.99 plus the buyer paid shipping. And these took six days to sell. They didn't. They were each priced, it was a 50% off sale. They were each priced at $5.99, uh, and uh, it was half off of that. And then I just I just lumped them up into one, one average buy cost because I take everything I buy and I count up how many items I have for listings, and then I divide it by how much how much money I spent, and that gives me an average buy cost. This is a pair of Crocs, Patricia, so, what are they? They're Croc Wedge Patricia sandals. I found these at Goodwill. I paid $5.73, and these sold in one day. Um, a few of these things on this item are, are, are $5.73 because uh, I got them all recently, and I just listed them, and they were just selling. So I'm super pumped about that. It's not like... Did I tell you they sold for nineteen dollars ninety nine cents plus shipping? So there's a, it's not like amazing, but five into five like five seventy three into twenty in, in, in a day. I, I'll do that all day. Not all Crocs sell super fast. This is a pair of Croc flat slip ons. Uh, they're size five. I paid eight dollars and twenty six cents for them, and they sold for twenty two dollars forty nine cents plus the buyer paid shipping. They took four and a half months to sell. Uh, to be honest, I think it's the size. They or I I don't know. They're really great shape, but size five seems pretty small i think i mean i'm assuming i was kind of hesitant on buying them because it was a little bit i priced i mean that was a little bit high price for them but they're in really good shape so i decided to buy them anyway tell me would you buy those dunning golf polo uh it had naples national golf course embroidered on the sleeve and it had a trophy on the chest i typically do not buy these but i i, I comped it before i sourced it saw that there was there was actually sold comps this was a size 2xl I'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure why didn't i write this i should have wrote the size down in my notes but i'm pretty sure it was a 2xl i paid six dollars 32 cents for it and it sold for 24 dollars 99 cents plus the buyer paid shipping and it took two months to sell this is an under armor captain america just workout t-shirt superhero under armor stuff like under armor compression shirts and stuff will typically they sell pretty well i paid five dollars and 66 cents for this and it sold for 19 dollars 99 cents and it sold in one month uh affliction i don't find too much affliction stuff usually if i do it's a t-shirt this was a woman's plaid button-up pearl snap shirt i found this at goodwill i paid seven dollars and 55 cents for it it sold for 29 dollars 99 cents plus the buyer paid shipping and it sold in one month this feels better doing this usually when i'm doing what sold videos i'm sitting down because i'm doing my shipping and i just wanted to do this old school way like i'm well, I, this is how i got started and when i first started selling clothes uh it's almost two years now that i've specifically like mostly sell clothes and shoes 
Um, I, I was struggling to know what to sell. Now, two years later, I feel like maybe someone might appreciate that uh, uh, how much something sold and how long it took. So I'm gonna try my best to uh, just, I don't know, if you, if hopefully you liked it. If you do like this, give me a thumbs up, please. All right, this isn't a pair of Brooks Ghost shoes. I actually found these at a half off sale at Goodwill. I paid $4.92 for them. They sold for $39.99 plus the buyer paid shipping. They sold in six days. When I initially bought them, I just bought them because they're in really good shape. And when I was doing my live, I do a live every Wednesday and just talk about the items I've sold for Tuesday. Comped them during the live and they just didn't, re I wasn't very excited. I thought I was going to be sitting on these forever. I was surprised that they sold so fast, but I'm very happy. All right, this is a pair of uh, uh, Puma orange golf pants. I found these at a local thrift store. I paid $1.07 for them, but they sold in eight days for $29.99 plus the buyer paid shipping. Uh, when I sourced these, I, I saw a lot of people use the keyword Ricky Fowler, who's a professional golfer, and he wears these pants, I guess. But I actually, I didn't put that in there because I, I didn't, I didn't, I don't know. I don't know if I should do that or not, but uh, I was pretty confident someone would still find them and they did. Maybe I could have sold them in four days if I would have put Ricky Fowler in there, but either way. Because they weren't specific. I don't know if they're specifically Ricky Fowler. So I didn't want to just start making stuff up. I don't want to. I don't want to be a liar. I'm a truth. I'm a truth teller. It's a vintage Levi's button-up shirt. Uh, it's a size two XL. Uh, it's really good. Really good shape. I found this at a Goodwill. I paid four dollars and ninety-two cents for it. It sold for thirty-nine dollars ninety-nine cents plus the buyer paid shipping, and it sold in three days. I I'm not very good at dating when when something was made, but you could tell it was kind of old. And I saw some similar. I couldn't find the exact one at the time, and I kind of just threw a number out there. I had seen some for less than thirty or less than forty, and I seen some more than forty. So I just figured forty was a good price that I would be happy with accepting and someone took it actually i think i was happy with 30 and i put i put it at 40 for best offer and someone bought it so i'm, I'm okay with that i sold these they're a pair of ultra lone peak uh women's shoes i found these at a local goodwill i paid four dollars and 92 cents for them they sold for 39 dollars 99 cents plus buyer paid shipping they sold in three days i sold a lot of Ariat men's button-up shirts they had some kind of design on them it was pretty cool both size medium i found them at a goodwill i paid five dollars and 66 cents for them and i took an offer for 46 dollars uh, plus shipping for both of them so they took three weeks to sell i feel like i could i had a price each for 29.99 i feel like i could have got more uh i sent on an, i said i accepted an offer for one and then the buyer he he messaged me and wanted to get the other one and wanted to know if, he, if i would do 46 and that day uh, you know, sales weren't that great and i'm i didn't want to hold on to it i had a buyer who was ready to buy it and i just decided i was happy i had to, like what is that eleven dollars and 32 cents into $46 minus fees and everything. I, I was okay with that. So I was happy to sell those, but uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that was a good sell or not. I, I'm happy with it. So this is a pair of Keen Cur Carano, Corrado, Cor Coriando. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Women's shoes. I paid $4.80 for them. And I took an offer for $35 plus the buyer paid shipping. They sold in two weeks. So I was happy about that. This is an RLX windbreaker shirt. This is what the logo looks like. RLX is some kind of uh, uh, Ralph Lauren line. I'm not exactly sure what, I don't really know what it is, but uh, I just know the logo and I and I know it's a pretty good seller. Uh, this, this windbreaker I bought uh, for $6.32 and I paid, I had it listed for $39.99. Ended up taking an offer for $29.99 plus the buyer paid shipping. Uh, I got that offer in, I wanted a counter, but to be honest, like that day, uh, sales weren't that great and I just wanted to sell something that day. And I was happy turning six, uh, like $6.32 into $30. So I, I was happy with that. Uh, I don't know, I was, I was desperate to be honest. And it took five weeks to sell. Uh, this is a Russell Athletic tank top. It was made in the USA. I found this at a Goodwill. I paid I paid up for this for a tank top uh, with my average buy cost. I paid $5.46 for it. I ended up taking an offer for $19.99 and it took two and a half months to sell. Um, tank tops are something that, they, like this is probably one of the better tank tops I've ever sold. I had it listed for $24.99 with the offer, but tank tops are like seriously, they're, uh, sometimes they're priced up, but a lot of times, uh, thrift stores have them priced for three four dollars and they sell for you know 15 20 bucks um i mean sometimes less but they're they're super easy to list like there's just not there's not much to there's not much you can mess up on i mean if it's gonna fit or not like you just have to find someone who's confident enough to wear a tank top uh i've never been a big tank top guy <laughs> when i was a kid i i went out for the middle school i was gonna go off for the wrestling team 
Uh, I never wrestled in my life, but I watched WWE. Um, so I thought I wanted to be a wrestler. I went to wrestling practice and the first thing they told us was to take our clothes off because we were going to do weigh-ins and I wasn't comfortable getting down to my underwear. So I ended up going over to basketball, which that was another thing too, because they gave you your jersey by your height. I was like one of the shortest kids on the team, but I was probably the huskiest kid on the team. So I had number one and I had to wear a tank top. I like to sell tank tops. I don't like to wear tank tops. So I'm just gonna tell you that. This is a Patagonia shirt. I was super excited when I found this Patagonia shirt. I found it at Goodwill. I paid $4.80 for it. Uh, I sold it for $29.99 and it sold in eight days and I was super pumped about it. But when I was listing it, it had a big old stain. It's got like this humongous stain on the back of it that uh, I couldn't get out. So I listed it anyway. Like I, I sold soul comps for like 40, I think $50 at the time. And I just decided to price it for $29.99. I get so excited when I find something, when I come home, I find flaws. And then that's what, like, if it's worth it, I just list it anyway and hope someone buys it. I also want to tell you that I sold a pair of South Pole uh, jeans. Uh, they had a big old ink stain on the back, on the back pocket. Uh, I didn't see it at th I didn't see it until I was listing them. I paid four dollars and ninety two cents for them, so I priced them down a little bit. Uh, not not much. I, I priced them for seventeen dollars ninety nine cents, and uh, someone bought them uh, the first day for for my full asking price. I think even if they if they're in perfect condition, they're just kind of a plain pair of pants. Uh, I probably was gonna ask like twenty dollars, but I was super pumped that these sold in one day. I was happy. All right, this is a good sale, but it took a little while. It's a primal wear. Uh, marine bicycle shirt jersey uh, I found this at a Goodwill I paid five dollars and 38 cents for it and it sold for and it sold for twenty nine dollars ninety nine cents plus a buyer paid shipping and it took four months to sell it was a size 3 XL this might be the best sell I have for the entire year this was an Alps and meter um, lamb's wool sweater I found this at Goodwill I paid six dollars and 32 cents for it uh it was brand new with tags I never heard of the brand but when you when you're searching through clothes you people always tell you this and then when it starts happening to you you, you figure it out if you can you feel something it feels good so lamb's wool feels nice I looked it up and I sold I was pretty surprised on sold comps this took two months to sell but I sold it for $149.99 plus the buyer paid shipping I was super pumped about this I sold it on Monday the day before 4th of July which I was about to have a panic attack because I wasn't really sure how many people were going to be looking for pre gently pre-owned clothing or shoes on 4th of July after my weekend wasn't that great but uh, I was super pumped to start my week off with this and now we're ending the week with making a video. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, which you probably are if you've watched it, especially if you watch it this far. I'll see you guys next time, or subscribe, but I'll see you next time.